So a very, very common question that I get, what is ROSC? I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that. Hey everyone, it's the Paramedic Coach. And if you're new, be sure to like and subscribe down below. This is your haven for everything EMT, advanced EMT, paramedic school, and getting prepared for the NREMT exams. So let's dive into today's video. Now, what we're gonna be talking about inside this video is ROSC. I get asked commonly, hey, what is ROSC? I've heard about it, what is it? So here's what it is. It's return of spontaneous circulation. All that means is your patient that you are working in cardiac arrest now has their own pulse back. So think about it, okay, think about it. In CPR, we are the pulse. Our hands are the pulse of the patient. So when we get ROSC back, what that means, oh, we achieved ROSC, we got ROSC in the patient. What that means is the patient has their own pulse back. And that means if they have their own pulse, they have a blood pressure of some sort by themselves. So they're not in cardiac arrest anymore. So we stop CPR because they have their own pulse now. Their heart's back. Right. Now, what is good Ross care? And I'm going to give you some quick tips on what to do once you gain Ross. Number one, Check your end tidal CO2. That is one of the ways to see ROSC. Let's say your end tidal at a cardiac arrest is hanging out. Maybe it's a, a little, maybe it's just hanging around. It's going around pretty stable, pretty, pretty flat. All of a sudden it gets a huge spike. That is a sign of ROSC. What else? Well, we're talking about end tidal. Let's talk about ventilations. Make sure you don't get too excited and start hyperventilating the patient. Keep your breath every five to six seconds. Keep one breath every five to six seconds. Don't overventilate the patient, okay? Stay calm, great work. Let's keep continue it by not hyperventilating. Now, what else? Continue your ventilations and make sure to do a 12 lead EKG, okay? One of our HNTs inside a cardiac arrest is thrombosis. One of those thrombosis is ACS, acute coronary syndrome. So what this means? Well, it means do a 12 lead to see what's going on. A 12 lead could also show you other signs. For example, what's another H? One of H is hyperkalemia. We can see that in a 12 lead as well. Okay, pretty cool. All right, nice. The other thing is blood pressure. Now here's what I can tell you. A lot of codes that I've ran come back and they come back a little hypotensive, okay? Their heart just got restarted. They come back a little hypotensive. So what this means? Well, make sure their blood pressure is at least over 90 systolic because 90 systolic is how you perfuse, AKA give blood to all your organs in your body. Give oxygen to all everything in your body so the tissues stay good, okay? Uh, keep it simple for our, our newbies here that are watching, right? So that's what it means. Now, that's good quality ROSC care anywhere in the world. You may have special protocols. You may have a, a hypothermia protocol in your area as far as ROSC care, but those are kind of the gold standards that everyone can do no matter what area that you're in. Now, what I can tell you is this. If you're a brand new EMT, if you're somebody in EMT or paramedic school, or you're getting prepped for paramedic school, hey, maybe you're getting ready for your NR EMT boards, and you're trying to find what's the best study tool I can use to get ahead of the game in school, to do well in school, and to get through the boards easier. Well, I have a solution. It's called a paramedic coach course with the NR EMT accelerator program. It includes a video vault of over 160 videos plus a private community access 
where you can ask me anything that you would like about EMS related topics and you can ask me questions while you're studying using the programs. So if you want access, click the link down below to get instant a lifetime access at the beta price. The price won't be increasing soon. So make sure to get access now before the price increase. Hey, I want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you all. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the kind words and comments. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Cap oh, like everything that you were saying was just connecting all these, all these, you know, links inside my brain. And I, I just knew right then and there, um, I have to have this program. I have to have all the information that he's willing to give. I need all of it. I want to help decrease failure rates for NREMT, for EMT school, for paramedic school. Watch these videos, watch this content, and believe me, you will start to understand EMS medicine. Anybody out there that wants to serve their community as an EMT or a paramedic should be able to do that. And I'm here as a paramedic coach to help you achieve that.